Okay, so let's be real here. None of us like wasting money or throwing it away for no good reason. There are some things that you could be doing that is completely counterproductive to any benefits that your collagen peptide supplement could be providing. That's like burning money. I'm gonna share with you in this video a few bad habits that could be counterproductive to taking collagen peptides. So stick with me. This channel is about all things to keep the body, mind, and spirit in a positive state. If that interests you, then be sure you click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Point number one not properly cleansing your face. Did you know that properly cleansing your face on a daily basis can help stimulate collagen production in the skin? One of my favorites is body brushing, and this is a face brush that I actually picked up. It came in a set. Proper skin care, including brushing for the face and the body, stimulates collagen. Massage is great for stimulating collagen. This helps strengthen muscle memory and helps contour the skin. Point number two, collagen creams. Applying collagen creams topically is easier said than done. The collagen molecule can't properly penetrate the skin's surface. It actually just sits on top of the skin. So you'll need to choose a product with collagen amino acids that are small enough to get deep into the layers of the dermis and deliver the plumping <coughs> effect that is associated with collagen. I've only seen one of those so far on the market and I'm waiting to get my hands on it so I can review it and do a video for, for you guys. Click subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss that video. Point number three, eating poorly. Instead, eat for a more elastic, bouncier skin. It's not all about lotions and potions. Dermatologists recognize everywhere that diet is hugely important and a major factor. The recommended foods for this can be beans, cabbage, garlic. These foods are rich in sulfur, which aid in forming collagen and maintain the skin's healthy elastin and pigmentation. Vitamin C can also support the process of collagen formation and works to reproduce oxidative damage. So make sure that you're picking foods to munch on like broccoli, spinach, there's goji berries, and kiwi fruits. These are all great suggestions. Point number four, quit smoking and stop with the sugar. Let's talk about smoking first. If you find this video beneficial, Please do hit the like and share it with a friend. Smoking actually kills collagen. It ages the skin and it eats away at the proteins. Therefore, it restricts blood flow, resulting in dry, leathery, wrinkled skin, especially around the lips and the eyes. Sugar can have the same effect. Nutritionist to the stars have long since screamed about the aging effects of sugar. How and why? Well, basically, sugar can permanently attach to collagen, weighting it down. When collagen is weighted down by glucose, it becomes rigid, inflexible, and this results in dry, dull, damaged looking and aged looking skin. So cut back on the white refined stuff Try sugar in the raw, or better yet, try supplements that I've mentioned in previous videos. For example, make sure you check out this video on quitting sugar, where I talk a lot about these supplements. One of those supplements is the monk fruit extract. So make sure you check out the video on quitting sugar. Point number five, stop dehydrating yourself. Water is the life force. Hydration, hydration, hydration is key. Keep your skin hydrated with water and by eating lots of whole plant foods and hydrating the skin with supplements like rosehip seed oil, 
which I have a video on. I'll link that up here. Eating whole foods is one of the easiest way to get nutrients into the body and stay hydrated. The more hydrated your skin is, the better environment it gives collagen and elastin, which is skin's pliability protein, an environment to thrive. What's the formula for proper water intake each day? Be sure that you see the comments below. I'm gonna link up the formula in the comments and pin it to the top. Also in those comments, let me know, how much water do you try to take in a day? What's your formula for staying hydrated? Point number six, avoid cheap collagen supplements. You've seen the supplements that I recommend. Check out these two videos for additional information on these supplements. I'll put the links at the end of this video and in the description below. One of my favorites, this collagen protein product, it's been rebranded, looks a little different from my previous videos, rest assured it's the same product. So avoid those cheap collagen products that you might pick up in drugstores, especially if you're taking them for gut health issues or associated with GAPS, AIP, and SCD diet. I've found them personally not to be as beneficial or to require taking double the amounts, which essentially doesn't really save you any money. Consider adding supplements to your collagen peptides as well. Supplements can help work deep in the dermal layers to help strengthen your collagen from inside out. Studies have found that protein, zinc, and vitamin C can increase collagen levels by a whopping 25%. So if you're doing any or all of the wrong thing, like not limiting your sun exposure or forgetting to use proper protection when you are out in the sun, and hoping collagen supplements will reverse it, consider making a few of these changes and breaking some of those bad habits so you can stop throwing money down the trash. I'm heading to Germany in two days. I look forward to bringing you videos from Germany on all the new things that I discover while I'm there for the next three months. Be sure to check out the links below in the video description where I'll link up the supplements that I use and the videos I mentioned. I'm Penny. Stay body positive so you can reap the rewards. Did you know intermittent fasting can also help fight the signs of aging and boost collagen production? To learn more, join our Facebook group, Keto Fasting. Curious about the keto diet? Check out my book, Stop Bitching, Eat Keto, Lose Weight, available on Amazon. And for a free yummy keto coffee recipe that's great to put your collagen peptides in, check out the link below where you can download the recipe for free.